RXs and optical crosses. These are very, very quick and easy to do once you know how to do them. All you have to do is if he gives you a prescription, it's going to be plus two, minus three, axis 180. You're going to take your first and last number and put them on the same line. 180 plus 2, 180. You'll draw 90 degrees away, so this will be 90. You are then going to add these two together. You add them together, plus 2, minus 3 will give you minus 1. It's as simple as that. From the optical cross, if you want minus sill form, you are going to pick the most positive or the least negative. If you are working with a positive and negative, you are going to pick the positive. If you want minus sill form, we're then going to pick plus 2. We also pick the axis that it is on, and we put axis 180. And we then find how far away these are from each other. So all you have to do is take the opposite meridian, negative 1, minus whatever our number is, plus 2, and you'll get negative 3. Plus 2, negative 3, axis 180, same as what we did up there. Now if he wants it in plus cell form, you'll go the opposite. You'll pick minus 1, axis 90, and then we would do plus 2, minus, negative 1, and that will give us plus 3. This needs to make sense. These are the same. The cylinder is not a power on the lens. It is simply the difference between the two spherical powers that we have on our optical cross. Both of these powers right here, negative 1 and plus 2, are sphere powers that we would write onto a prescription. This negative 1 would be the sphere power when we're talking about a plus sill version, and plus 2 would be our sphere power in the case of a negative sill um, or a minus sill form RX. These should all be very quick and easy to do. If you get any RX, it's going to be plus 3 and plus 5. Axis 120, this is 90 degrees away, so it's then 30. I'm going to pick my most positive or least negative, so I'll pick plus 5. I'll choose the axis that it's on, axis 120, the difference between these, so plus 3 minus plus 5 would then give me minus 2. If I want to transpose, I'm going to add the two powers together and I'll get plus 3. I'm then going to flip the sign to be plus 2 and I'll change the axis by 90 degrees. As you can see this plus 3 that we have up here is now our sphere power and the 30 is now the axis for that prescription. These are both their own individual sphere powers However, they only show up on the RX depending on if it's written in plus sill or minus sill form. They should be very quick, very easy to do. If you want minus sill form, pick the most positive, pick that axis, put those on there, take the opposite meridian, subtract the original meridian, and you'll get your cylinder. Or just know that to get from plus 5 to plus 3, you're going to subtract 2. Either way works.